Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Big Titty Boy. I'm back with a brand new video, and today I'm going to talk about some rumors. I mean, that's really all I do, but either way, welcome back to a brand new video, guys. My name is Ruffle Rowlett, and I hope you guys are excited for some content today. Uh, music in the background is from Mewmore. Do check out Mewmore, amazing remixer on YouTube when it comes to Pokemon remixes. This song is bloody amazing. Either way, we're going to talk about a few rumors today, guys. Now, I wasn't going to do another video today at all, or just a video in general today. I did an update video, but that isn't really, you know, I don't count that in the same as my, the same as my normal videos. I wasn't going to do a normal video today anyways, though, but I am actually going to do it today because... <coughs> I found a lot of things. Jeez. <coughs> Oogala boogala. Jeez, man. What just happened to me? Either way, we did find some things that I think are worthwhile covering that I thought would be worthwhile to just kind of bring to you guys. So I thought we'd jump right into it and let's get down to it, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Now, you may remember these logos. Um, I showed these logos a while back. These were sent to me by Gustash on Twitter, and they showed basically, like, kind of like almost concept arts, um, or like, you know, early, uh, like, version, like rough drafts of uh, Pokemon logos saying Pokemon, um, Proton and Neutron, or Pokemon Plus and Minus, give or take, and then four names below here saying different things. Now, somebody actually decided to kind of look into this a bit more, one of you viewers actually decided to look into this, and uncovered a few things that I hadn't realized and that I didn't think about. So I thought we covered what this, uh, you know, individual found, which his name is Frozen Echoes, um, and he was the person who found this, and I thought we'd cover what he found, what he discovered, that as well as a few other things that we've actually noticed, specifically in the, you know, in regards to this, but also in regards to the newest anime episode from Pokemon Sun and Moon, which actually might be hitting, hinting at, like, uh, logos that, like, sorry, not logos, but it might be hinting at, like, uh, the whole king and queen thing again. So, let's just jump into the logos here first. So, you already covered these logos. Uh, they look legitimate. Like, they just look like drafts, like rough drafts. Like, they, you might think they look bad here, but they actually are, like, you know, just rough drafts, so to say. Uh, or that's what they, you know, they kind of look like. Uh, to be, so to say. Uh, the logos look good. Uh, you got minus here, plus here. Uh, you see her being, you know, neutron, proton, uh, negative, positive, give or take. And of course, these name here, names down here, Verticatom, Kakushi, Shibuma, and Hibana. <clears throat> now, why is this important? Well, your boy here uh, actually discovered something interesting, and this is again Frozen Echoes, so big thank you to him. So, here's uh, his response to me. So, I was talking to him, and he mentioned uh, messaged this to me as well, and let me know, saying, hmm, okay, thanks. I think they might actually be real, because the Japanese is, is legit. Unlike all the all the logos that have been leak, uh, leaking so far, or uh, Ruben so far. Also, the names underneath uh, actu uh, are actual actually Pokemon names. Now, this is where I, I got wrong. I thought that those words were actually, like, d totally different things, but apparently he's, he thinks they might be... Uh, uh, Pokemon names. So he say, it says here that Verticatom appears to be a legendary Pokemon, and the other three appear to be starters. Kakushi appears to be a sloth, or sloth bear, probably the grass type. Shibuma and Hibana are horse and snake, respectively. Though I can't ag exactly tell which type would be uh, would would be which on them. So this is what he kind of managed to discover slightly here. But something that's more interesting is actually he gave me a little bit of a message here with kind of like some a few things listed that he found, uh, kind of like a little bit of a conglomerate of information that he found. So again, Frozen, uh, Frozen Echoes, thank you so much for finding this. Let's read through what he found here. So point one, and it's on the top here and you can't see it because of my face cam. So I'm going to remove my face cam for a second. So here's what he said, basically. Point one. In the Pewter City Museum in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, a diagram of the origin of the universe is shown. This diagram effectively represents the Big Bang Theory and shows the universe form forming from nothing. Now, this also makes sense with science and the fact that, you know, atoms, protons, neutrons, uh, just science in general and, you know, that sort of stuff. So space being included there makes sense. Point two. James Turner has mentioned on his Twitter uh, different aspects about space and has shown an interest in it. Now, the fact of the matter is, though, that, he do that uh, James Turner doesn't hint stuff. He even pointed out himself himself, he doesn't hint stuff, but the fact that he, you know, he shows interest in space, you know, could have to do with the fact that we've seen a lot more space-related stuff in Pokemon as of recent. In fact, he even met Stephen Hawking, uh, and designed Ultra Wormholes as a tribute to him. He also is responsible for the designs of a few Ultra Beasts, notably Guzzlord and Poipole, the latter of which he based the design of, uh, of, of Aliens for. Now, James Turner is also confirmed the uh, confirmed to be the art director for Generation 8. Indeed. Now, point three. The leaked, and with the big quotation marks here, leaked, but it's just rumored logos, for Electron and Proton are stylized to match the red slash blue Nintendo Switch, i.e. the blue Joy-Cons on the left with the minus button, and the red Joy-Con on the right with the plus button. And yeah, this is uh, something I've mentioned before several times. Actually, I can show you right here. Um, I've showed this, like, in videos before a million times, but, like, if you take the Joy-Con, you can see you've got, like, the, the minus button here, you've got the plus button here, and and it's, you know, red and blue, and, uh, you know, it's been, a, like, an old rumor for a long time, plus and minus, that it's gonna happen, and some, f you know, some of those stuff from the old rumor actually came through in general, so, uh, we'll see either way, though. So, 
Um, here we continue here, saying, uh, where, where were we? So, uh, <laughs> the logos um, also feature special nebula, with both a plus, uh, wait, a minus and a plus in, this, uh, wait, in the center of the spiral, respectively, indicating the negative charge of an electron and the positive charge of a pr proton. The logos also are the only set of logos that have leaked so far where the Japanese used has been accurate. Fair enough. I'm not. I don't know much about that. Um, uh, he clearly seems to know more Jap Japanese than me, and I know that some other viewers have also gone through this that do speak Japanese and said that the Japanese does seem pretty, pretty correct uh, to most, you know, to the biggest extent. Either way, point four. Uh, further hints in both Generation Six and Generation Seven indicate a potential space theme, including the mysterious old man in Haina Desert. I remember that guy. Uh, the man in Guzzlord's Ultra Space and the old man in the Pewter Museum standing next to the Big Bang diagram. Uh, in the multiverse theory, many uh, may also come into play here, which was introduced back in Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire, and further confirmed in Ultra Sun and Moon. Indeed. Now, point five. A rumor that was posted on 4chan a while back was uh, was pruned from the site incredibly quickly. And this one was the one that listed here that the translation team lists 100 and, uh, 106 new Pokemon, biggest region to date, Pokemon get an additional rarest shiny form, solar system gets represented in form of legendaries, organization called Na Na Na, led by Na Na Na, no official translation yet. And, um... I'm not sure if we ever got a translation for those. And conclusion here was, is that Generation 8 is going to be Pokemon Electron, Pokemon Proton. The mascots are going to be singular Pokemon named uh, Verticatome that have two different forms. A positive form uh, for Proton and a negative form for Electron. The starters are named Kakushi, a sloth or a sloth bear. Shibuma, a horse. And Heban uh, Hibana, a snake in, Japan. Uh, in Japan. Uh, Verticatome pre represents the Pokemon universe equivalent of the Big Bang, and would be the central legendary uh, Pokemon of the plot, I guess. Likely the subject of Team Neon, which is led by uh, Kaiser. Oh yeah, I remember that. That's what this guy was called, Neon and Kaiser. And I think Neon is one of the, or like, uh, the element of Neon, I guess, is one of the few elements that, I, I can't remember what it was, that, there was like a specific aspect of it that was taken into consideration, but Neon is a very interesting specific one there, and the fact that he, you know, that the dude's name uh, here in this old rumor was Caesar was pretty interesting. Um... Now, there would be a variety of um, of other minor legendary Pokemon that represents planets in the solar system. The name Kaiser and the atomic theme seem to imply the region could be based off of a combination of Italy and Greece, with Turkey likely having some influence as well. Though it's also possible for that region that it could be based off of the United Kingdom instead. Though this is a stretch. Now, I don't know personally about this. Um, big thank you to Frozen Echo here for sending this to me. Actually, really intriguing post with a lot of interesting stuff here. And this is probably the stuff that's gotten me the most interested and the thing that I think I, tr I feel... I trust the most because it seems to have the best points. Now, one of the first things here, I remember this old rumor. This is an old rumor which I covered, but I never really got like a follow up on it. We never knew if it was fake. We never knew anything about it. It just got deleted and that's about it. The user was banned and that was the end of it. Nothing else really happened beyond that. Um, but the fact of the matter is, we've been seeing a few plus and minus things pop up here and there. Plus and minus, the old rumor is the one that still only has the most like logical you know, connection to it. There's also been an increase in, you know, Game Freak pictures and stuff like that, where they feature Plusle and Minin, right? Or Minin, or whatever you want to call it. Like, Plusle and Minin, right? They're both being featured a lot more, and that sort of stuff. Some people also have apparently seen it more in Pokemon Go, like, they're seeing Plusle and Minin more, which I don't think is really a hint, but either way, that's besides the point. The thing I'm trying to get across is that there's clearly been, like, you know, a lot of stuff that points towards this being a possibility here. So, currently, we're sitting in a crossroads where we're between two things, right? Uh, we're between Pokemon Plus and Minus, and we're between Pokemon K King and Queen. One of those two options, or something totally different that's none of those, right? But in terms of rumors, those two are the best ones right now that we have to work with, right? The Plus and Minus and King and Queen thing. Those are the best ones. Now, as for where this would be based on, he says that he thinks it would be Italy and Greece, uh, Greece, which I think would be totally fine. Uh, even Turkey being included a little bit would be pretty, pretty freaking awesome, but I don't think that would be very likely to happen. I think it's more likely to still be, you know, maybe even Spain, actually, if I'm going to be honest. I think Spain is also still a possibility, but also you, the UK is the one that's been seemingly hinted the most so far, as far as we've, t you know, we can tell from our potential hints that we've seen so far. So, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, I would love to know what you guys think about this, though. It's a very weird subject, because it's so... It's so specific, like, you know, it's it's a weird subject to go into because I can't really tell 100% from this, you know, where I land on it. But I just want to bring it up, though, and mention it because it's an intriguing, you know... It's an intriguing post, honestly. It's a really intriguing post. But I don't want to end it here, guys. This is going to, this is going to be a bit, pretty long video, okay? So again, we've gone through a few points here. I think it's an interesting rumor, and I want to know your opinions on it. I think, for me, this is one of the ones that I'm really, really, like, liking and enjoying because it seems very logical. Uh, it matches, like, he's really matched this up pretty well here. Like, major, major props to Frozen Echo here for taking all these points here and matching them together and then also matching all that up with the, um... 
the logos here and how they make sense. So major props to him for that. But um, besides that, though, what else do we have here? Well, we have a few other things that I'm going to mention. But before we go to the other subject of the video, I want to bring up uh, something else, which is that the new Unova video has come out uh, for Pokemon. So the Unova video for the countdown thing that's going is come out now. And boom, check out like a boom, boom. They show a few things here and there. Nobody was doing a prediction for this one. So there's nothing in that regard. But I just want to kind of promote it and let you guys know that this one's come out. So go over and give it a like. And yeah, so just want to mention that real quick. Now, next thing on our agenda here, this right here. So this was sent to me by Aria Angel Wing on Twitter, saying probably nothing really important, but a person on the Facebook page, Pokemon page, uh, group page, noticed something in the newest trailer to the next Sun and Moon episode. You can see one of those uh, those caps or whatever those are has a number eight on it, and the other one has a crown. And that's really true. If you look down here, you'll see that there are you know there's like a, one that's like says eight down there, but you also have one that that's like says I and whatnot. So that's not really a good enough point. But you do have like a weird ones. There's just a lot of weird ones. Uh, but down here, you actually see a crown. And if you look at a different image, um, which was this one right here, you'll notice there's a crown. There's like there's like a cross and a crown. Um, which is very strange, right? It's, uh, you know, sure, we could say that maybe this is hinting at something. Of course, Crown and Scepter was debunked, uh, you know, to put it bluntly. Uh, but as Ro, Ro Martins here just said, you know, there is still the idea of King and Queen still being a possibility. So if that is still, you know, in the realm of possibilities here, that could be what we're looking at here. You know, possibilities of King and Queen. Now, again, this is just like little logos in a Pokemon anime episode, okay? It could mean nothing. But we're also now ending, com coming close to the end of Generation 7. Like, we're literally ending Gen 7, and we're moving into Generation 8 now. So it makes total sense here uh, to be moving over, you know, and hinting it th through this sort of stuff. It would make sense. But again, it's hard to know. We can't really guess. But do remember that the Sun and Moon anime had that reference to the UK, uh, with the, the character being literally in the UK uh, on London Bridge, you know, with the, the House of Parliament behind him and literally, literally even Big Ben behind him, you know. Like, that whole thing happened in the anime, Sun and Moon anime, and now this has also showed up with a little crown and a little cross. So, it's possible, Asian and gentlemen, I don't know. I mean, the games could still be called Plus and Minus, but have a connection to, you know, Kings and Queens and, you know, have that whole, like, that whole theme going on, so to say. Especially if it's the UK, because the UK still has, like, their own, you know, they have a queen still there, so it would make sense. But I thought it would be interesting to bring it up, just, you know, hear what you guys think about it. And, yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. I think we've gone through everything. Um, yeah, I kept it shorter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a 20-minute video, but it didn't. So, yeah, basically what I want to say about this, I agree with this. Fundamentally, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, all, everything checks out. The logos still have yet to be debunked, okay? These logos have yet to be debunked. Just, I haven't seen anybody able to debunk them yet. I've tried to debunk them, but I haven't been able to. Um. Um, they're very unique, and they just look like, like, they look proper, and nobody's debunked them yet, so I'm really curious. What do you guys think about these? Do you think Proton Neutron makes sense? Uh, this could still also just end up being plus minus whatever, or something else, but I don't know. I want to know what you guys think about it, though, in the comment section down below. Either way, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the channel, please subscribe. We are so close to hitting 90k subscribers. We're about a thousand almost away now, and we're getting so, so freaking close. So, guys, drop a like down below. Leave a comment letting me you guys think, you know, let me know what you guys think about all this, and I'll I'll catch you all in the next video. Have yourselves a great day, and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.